I'm going to demonstrate the installation of the software on a 2013 BMW Active Hybrid. As you can see here, this is without the software installed. As soon as I shift the car into park, it comes up with an error message. So uh, I'll demonstrate that now by just by rolling forward, it'll continue to not play. So put the car back into park, and again, the video will come back up. So what I'm going to do now is install the software. So if I eject the DB that I have currently playing, I'm just gonna put that off to the side here. Turn off the car. And that was just to kind of demonstrate um, before and after. So if I get out of the car just to kind of clear its memory, and then shut and lock it. Come back in the car. Now lock, unlock, get in. Driver's seat, turn the car on. This is the active hybrid, so the car will just go to the ready mode uh, until the battery comes back or, or runs down 25%. So um, we're gonna wait here for 20 seconds. Um, give it a second more, a couple more seconds. Again, the car is just in ready because it's an active hybrid, so um, a lot of different cars will probably have the sound of the motor actually running here. And then again, I have just the menu here, uh, regular iDrive, and it's a little bright. Um, but that's just the regular menu there. So, uh, it's been 20 seconds now, so I'm going to insert the software that I downloaded from an email. Just insert it into the slot there in the armrest, leave it on here for about another 20 seconds, and then we're going to get out of the car, lock it, and leave it on, locked outside of the car for about 10 minutes. Um, so we've got about another 10 seconds here to download the software to unlock the DVD. Okay, so I'll just flip the camera around just to give you guys a point of view reference and see if we can do that. Oh, nope, so let me go ahead and place the video here and then you guys can watch the remaining uh, 10 minutes while I put this on hold and I pull out the memory stick now at this point, turn off the car and I'll get out and be back in 10 minutes. I'm going to lock the car, the alarm on and everything and be back in 10. All right, here we are. Come back in here, get the car back into the arm position. And as you can see, the navigation went through a quick uh, reboot. It's kind of hard to see. So first here, it's gonna ask you to confirm, I'm sure. And then, uh, let's see what we got. Okay, and then as you can see here, now the BMW Connected Drive is going through a complete reboot. There we go, and we'll confirm to these. Insert your DVD. D comes up. Get the car in drive. And there you are. It's as simple as that.
Some cars take a little bit longer than others. Um, mine happens to go fairly quickly, but there you go. They That's saw the end the, uh, of the world. Just a bit super easy and then to repeat it uh, remove it from the car just repeat the process and that's that see here drive uh, in reverse a lot of cars will come up with the overview cameras uh, you can press the button get rid of that and you'll see that it also works in reverse as well it's kind of hard to see the lighting in this car but uh, you can definitely still see that the videos are still working and then back into drive. There you go. Driving down the street. And then, uh, as you can see, the best part is it's great for passengers on road trips and keeping kids quiet. It's awesome. Best best piece of software. Little upgrade on the F30 that you can pay, pay for. Loved it. Thanks so much, everyone.